What's up guys, welcome to Build the Break Garage video. This one is gonna be a quick one. I am just doing some headlights and fog light changes. If you can tell by this clip, clearly see that the lights are, or the uh, driver's side fog light is currently out. Yeah, that was my main reason for doing this, but uh, I got some new lights. Actually, I think I'm gonna order two more because I got these, I got these little guys right here, and this thing is like a hell of a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, and it's going to fit like right in here. It's gonna fit right in there and actually probably poke through a little bit. But I'm also changing my low beams because I got these headlights that they change color with the flick of a switch. Those are gonna be kinda interesting too, which I'll show you. Yeah, first thing, I gotta get the car aired up, lift it up, take the front bumper off, and start mocking these head uh, fog lights up. Okay, so I pulled the bulb out, or pulled the fog light out that was turned off, and I checked the connection to it. They pulled the bulb out and it looked good. So basically, when I test the lead, which is hard to do with one hand, as you can see, I'm getting power to it. So, and the bulb, as you can see, the bulb is still good. So, so I gotta see if maybe my connection's loose or something, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test this out on the bench and then see if I can get it working. And then, if that's the case, I'll just add in the new lights next to these lights. And so I'll get like double the fog light, which would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to test this out really quick and then uh, hopefully have some good news for you when I return. So I figured out that the bulb is bad, but I mocked up the smaller fog lights. And the way the bracket is, it's going to put them too low in regardless of how I do this so I thought of a different way to do it and basically I'm just going to retrofit the fog lights that are on the car and put these inside them so I'm gonna wrap some electrical tape around this make it bigger so it doesn't fit through this hole like this and it'll be positioned in there and hopefully it'll work so we shall see so I'm gonna try this one and uh, see if I can get it to work and then uh, I'll do the next one so enjoy watching me time-lapse this all together Okay, so I got that all back together, and now I have one done. It's gonna work out just fine. As you can tell, it's yellow. Hopefully I project something onto the road, but now I gotta do the second one. Okay, well I got the passenger side one done and it came out, it actually came out better than the first one and so now both of them are lit. But I'm going to take apart the first one really quick and change up how I have it mounted in the housing because uh, the second one I, I came up with an idea and it ended up working a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on the first one and just to do it while I'm doing it even though it's there already but if I don't do it now I'm going to kick myself in the future for not doing it so I might as well do it now. Yeah, I'm going to tear this apart and then show you exactly how I'm mounting this in. Okay, so I got the driver's side one all apart and this is how I mounted it. So as you can see I wrapped electrical tape around the end to make it larger than this hole here so that way it won't go through and then I used the bolts from the mounting kit for the fog lights and then I used this that used to hold in the lens for the normal fog or the original fog light and made it so that, way that can actually hold this in and push it against the front and it makes it into that so it actually works pretty good. So uh, I've like retrofitted these to LED now, so that's kind of cool, but uh, definitely not the way I was expecting this project to go, but I'm kind of glad it is, because it looks really cool and it's not really screwing with the look as much, so it's good for me, and hopefully these things actually project like a decent beam so I can actually like see better on the freeway. That would be like really nice. So uh, I got, I'm gonna put this all back together, 
uh, zip tie all my wires up and then I'm gonna switch the headlights out and I'll show you guys the cool trick that those can do. Gonna be a little loud for a second with the heater on, but I got the headlights installed. I had to switch out a plug because one was going bad, so it's a good thing I was in there. This is currently the headlight situation. I got them all adjusted and everything. So now the low beams are currently blue, but all I have to do is go into the car, and hopefully you can see this, but they are currently blue. Now they're yellow. So you turn them off, then you turn it back on, and they change colors. So they go, they only do blue and yellow, but now the headlights are yellow. So I don't know, I thought it was a cool thing, but uh, I'm gonna throw the bumper back on and then uh, let's finish off this video. Well, I forgot to end the video in the garage, but I just took the car off for the first test drive, and oh my god, these fog lights are seriously brighter than my headlights. Like, they are my main driving lights. These little freaking things are like the best freaking I feel like the best light I've ever I've ever put in those fog light holes like unbelievable as you can see it's like glare city but it's hard to capture on a film but like look the all the yellow you see is from the fog lights like that's nothing none of that's coming from the headlights like that's all the fog lights like they're unbelievable anyway you probably can't see me because I'm standing in the dark but uh thank you very much for watching this video I know it's probably quick but uh yeah, I just want to throw up something, so uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.